Well, Vermont's primary is less than two weeks away. The second primary in New York is coming up in less than a month. And in the 21st Congressional District, a pair of Democrats are battling to go head-to-head -head with Republican Elise Stefanik. And one is taking to the air. Local 22's Michael Miller looks at how the race is taking shape. The Democratic primary is on Tuesday, August 23rd, and one of those candidates was in the Plattsburgh area to greet fellow voters. Clinton County Fair is a background. Democrat Matt Costelli is confident about his chances in the upcoming Democratic congressional primary, and he's looking to take on a high-profile Republican in November. Yeah, our campaign is going really well. We're encouraged by all of the excitement behind our campaign. Uh, because we offer the real opportunity to defeat Elise Stefanik in this race. We're the only ones who I think have the opportunity to do just that. I've been encouraged and honored to have the full weight and support of the Democratic Party across the 15 counties that make up the 21st Congressional District. Costelli says for him to win in the 21st District, it's going to take more than just Democrat support. I think it takes building a coalition, not just to have the strong support from Democrats, which I'm encouraged to have, but also to make sure that we're speaking to and bringing on board independents and even Republicans. Because again, it is my mantra throughout this entire campaign has been about country before party. His opponent and fellow Democrat Matt Batorti is also reaching across the aisle. Our campaign is going really, really well. Um, we've been to and are planning to continue going to hundreds of events across the district. We've knocked down thousands of doors. I've been surprised by the number of Republicans who have come up to me as I've been on the campaign trail and said, I just want you to know I'm supporting you or I can't vote for Elise Stefanik anymore. The goal for Petorti and Costelli is the right to take on incumbent representative Elise Stefanik, the number three ranking Republican in the U.S. House. In a statement, Stefanik's senior advisor read, the Democrat primary is a race to the far left with two radical candidates. For the first time, the Democrat candidates are refusing to debate to hide their radical views, such as their support for a gun ban from the voters. We called for debates um, very early on in this race. I think it's really important that voters hear from the candidates. Um, and we have, I have said, our campaign has said yes to every opportunity that's been presented to us to debate or to have a forum. Over the phone responding to Stefanik's statement, Costelli said that he will say yes to an opportunity to debate if given one, but has been told by outlets who traditionally hold debates that they are unable to do so. When it comes to the issue of gun control, Pretori is on the record saying he would support a ban on assault-style weapons. Castelli said he supports expanding background checks and enacting a federal red flag law, but has not said he would support a federal ban on assault weapons, and he said it is not likely to pass in Congress. The last day to register to vote in time for the primary is Friday, July 29th. Live in Plattsburgh, Michael Miller, Local 22 News.